Hi, thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thank, thank you to the Yerba Buena Gardens. Thank you, Justin. Preston, sorry. Um, thank you all for coming. It's such a pleasure to be here. Um, I just recently got off a plane from Buenos Aires. My, a new album of mine just came out. It's called Dreamy Orchid Poetry and Jazz. I was born in Vietnam, and um, my name, Mok Lan, actually means Dream Orchid. So the, the title of the album is a play on the, uh, the name. Oh, hi. How are you? Um, Dreaming Orchid. So um, I was thinking of doing a little experiment. I know we only have nine minutes. Probably used a minute already. Um, I'm going to play a piece. Let's see if you can hear it on my phone. And then while I, you know, one of my jazz piano pieces. Can you hear it? Yeah. And then I'll, I'll read. I'll read with it. Yes. Yeah, so, so here I am playing. These are my compositions. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, half of this book, uh, they're dedicated to um, uh, love poems to food, and then ha other half, they're, they're kind of they're sadder, they deal with wars, and you know, the places I've lived in. So I was born in Vietnam, I came to the U.S. as a refugee at a very young age. So I'll, I'll read the happy poems first, how about that? Um, love home to Pha. Pha is, um, is a national Vietnamese soup. I'm sure that some of you have had it. Pha, yes. Yeah. Love home to Pha. Yes, I am guilty. I'm not a good Buddhist vegetarian. When in Saigon or Hanoi, I sometimes sneak bowls of you from the vendor down the street for 50 cents or less, always without meat. Bowls of pho, clear fatless broth of chicken or beef. I sneak bowls of you past my other moral self, a secret sin to remind me of days without pressure. Without animal flesh, I slurp you down, only the perfume of you. I slurp you as Asians are wont to do, making noise to make the taste sweeter. I slurp you with fresh cilantro, lemon, mint leaves, dragon pho leaves. I slurp you with hot chili peppers tingling the tongue, fresh green peppers and memory penetrating the palate, rice noodles hanging over chopsticks, ubiquitous legs. The Japanese say you have a simple, elegant taste the Vietnamese know you are never to be colonized. At home, I make you with a vegetable broth, rice noodles, and vegetables. Your broth, transparent, humble. And then throughout the book, you know, 1,000 Minds Brimming, there are my, uh, my uh, paintings and drawings and all that. Up. How about, um, there's Love Home to Onion, Ginger, Leeks, Lemon, Chicken Chews, and the Mum. Thick rice noodles. Thick rice noodles. How about that? Yeah, cool. <laughs> Love home to thick rice noodles. Oh, your thick body, luscious as a pillow, and base of tomato and shrimp. My tongue glides over your cellophane. Under large blue umbrellas in Saigon, I eat you with crab meat delicate and chewy, while the youths with AK guns strapped over their shoulders, motorcycles thundering on. In East Palo Alto, I eat you in a sauté dish with garlic, onions, tof tofu, and leek, while hearing gunshots, police sirens, ambulances, plangent trucks passing in front of my house. I used to live in East Palo Alto when I was at Stanford uh, as a Stegner Fellow. And at the time, I think it was the most crime-ridden city in all the U.S. Right? But now it's no longer. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll go back to this book. I used to live on Mission Street and um, a long time ago. And then I wrote this poem called Accordion. Manana flies like molted feathers above the balmy earth. You watch heads purple spiked points, the muralists, the flashers, idlers, the mariachi stroll, heart of trumpets, wind throbs fragile under the armpits. Mission Street, a brood of gypsy cats prowling. Two, crack addicts tango, the sly feet, measured hand reaching for pocket. There's the hidden motion, clear as a ghost, a hand trick holding knife. In the dust of memory you fight to go back.
a simple world of unembroidered desires. Women, their liquid eyes turn heads. Babies protected with vinyl and Spanish. Language cooling the soul, firing intestines. Hidden motion between knife edge and shadow. Residue of chlorophyll of night, expert on insomnia, stretching its feet into bars. Three, the man's face gouged by sun, traffic, and lust. La Consejera Madalena snatches palms for $10, projects a love, a future. Dingy as Saigon, desires anatomy, and thinking of what might happen, and thinking of what might happen during doesn't exist. Four, Gel oh gelatinous night, the potheads coughing. Romance clings to black hair. Do you see the stricken men, the addicted ladies? Except for the feral cats, reading in the backyard, the house is barren. See that the, ca that the cat's form is not what is, but attention, perched, waiting to strike. Five, clear tap, tap like ants in unison feeds the fungus, caves in walls. A day comes, you put out your hand, nothing screams, cracks where rain had slept. Branches like octopus arms, wrangle the brisk cold ocean days. Close to the laundromat, over the scraggy sidewalk, past the El Nino exhibition, a century of rain falls. Six, accordion time surges on Mission Street not even stopping for the Mayan goddesses. Murals are painting, a spray can sun, fluorescent underwater canyons, gypsies linger, rain sows air, pellets of memory. You scale the wall towards painted sun, watch the days rewind. So that was from uh, Why Is the Edge Always Going Be? Thank you. Um, I'm gonna read, um, from Tango Tang Ring, just a page or two. So this, I'm indulging in my, my tango addiction. Call it an addiction. Being love takes reckless dreaming time. What is the figure that prefigures the tango? The ocho, an invisible sign of eternity. The embrace, the hero revolving planets. Power in the event, figure that prefigures. Song and heartbeat, fierceness, such that would hurl voices into the wind. Where do they get their power? The women without manicure. Para ser amor hace falta soñar con descuido. ¿Cuál es la figura que prefigura el tango, el ocho, un signo invisible de la, de la eternidad? El abrazo, el giro, los planetas girando. El poder en un instante, figura que prefigura. Canción y latido, fiereza, tal que lanzaría voces en el viento. Donde consiguen su poder las mujeres sin manicura? Do I, um, one, one more. Oh, just, I'll just read. Um, yeah, this is actually a very serious book, but I'm just, I'm just you know, going to be happy. And I'll read you another. How about another love poem? To um, there's tofu or you know red chili peppers. Red chili peppers. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Glad you're happy. Stay happy. This is my red chili pepper. This is actually a larger painting. Love home to red chili peppers. Your red hot tongue slips into my mouth, sometimes unknowingly. You explode with each bite, all your diversions and fireworks, your petulant sting. I can't adequately extol you, for you are a paradox. Your unassuming tongue brings terror to most people, but to me brings ecstasy. Where did you receive all your powers? Perhaps from the ubiquitous sun, you pack in her rays. I'm in love with your arias, penetrating deeply, clearing me up for other pleasures. So, thank you. And then, um, please check out the table, you know, we have books and CDs. Um, this is my tango CD para encontrarte, music, poetry, thank you so much. <laughs>